It's all about who you know, especially in the world of social sales, where it's even more difficult to find and connect with those influencers, decision makers, and inspirations. In this video, you'll learn not only how to cut through the noise and get their attention, but have them wanting to connect with you, looking forward to talking to you, and opening the door for collaboration. Welcome to 8 Unedited Minutes, brought to you by Nimble.com. We're here today with Stu Hynek, Wall Street Journal cartoonist and author of How to Get a Meeting with Anybody. Thank you for being here, Stu. Hey, I'm so glad to be here. I, you know, I've got to say, well, anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm a big fan of Nimble, so I am very, very glad to be here. That's excellent. Well, it's, yeah. it's easy to be a big fan of Nimble, so. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I think. And I would love to just, uh, just jump right in. We were talking about, with you, getting started, if you will, on social media and getting ramped up and getting things going. So many viewpoints are from, here's what I've learned over 10 years, which is great. You have a really unique one with, you're there right now getting rolling. Tell me a little bit more, because we, we yeah. talked about the challenges. Getting started, what was one of your big, oh, God, what do I do, challenges? Oh, we like the whole thing, you know. I mean, look, the thing is, I did a cartoon about this, you know, that I, I was thinking about social media as being just this random thing. It's like you get into an elevator with a bunch of people and expect to start a conversation and have anything meaningful come out of it. And you wouldn't, obviously, you wouldn't expect that to happen. And, and so, you know, really the, the hard part is, well, how does this work? You know, and how do you get, how do you get traction? How do you get, on Twitter, how do you get followers? How does it even, what happens to make that happen? Because in the, in the very beginning, it's a very, very slow process. You don't have any traction. You can follow people uh, on, on Twitter, for example, but that if you have very few followers yourself, you're not likely to get followed. And so um, I think one of, the, but here's the thing also, I have this wonderful advantage in, in life that I'm a cartoonist. So I can start popping cartoons out, which I've been doing on social media. And that starts to help me get a lot of traction with, um, with people who are saying, okay, this is, this is someone, I, someone I'd like to follow. That, that was a funny cartoon. The fact that I'm connecting with someone who's a cartoonist uh, is pretty cool. Now I'm finding out he's in, in the Wall Street Journal. That's even better. That's, you know, so that, that stuff really helps. But, uh, you know, one of the things that I think is, is just critical is having an idea of well, what's happening. And I, that's the other thing. I don't really, I feel like I don't have enough time to do this stuff. So you look for ways to save time. What, what kinds of tools are going to help me do this more effectively and save time? And I just, just I mean, I, you, you, we're, we're investing our time in it. So how do I get the maximum return? And, <clears throat> and so you end up finding these tools that help you grow that following. And one of those certainly has been nimble. I mean, I, I check it every morning just to find out. I mean, I know who's following, but Nimble gives you all this stuff in, in a, just sort of in a, in a snapshot, who these people are, what their clout score is. I mean, when you're on Twitter, for example, you have no idea what their clout score is. So just who is it you're talking to? What are they, ex, what are they experts at? What do they write about? Um, and Nimble gives you that all, all just really, really quickly. I like that. Well, just with getting started, even before you start looking, at you know cloud scores and start looking who's following you regularly how do you know who to f that question of well who do i follow what do i say how do you even know who to go after in the first place yeah. to be productive not just play around yeah yeah i mean well I, I, you know what i think you should you should just follow people you find interesting but what that means is people are going to start following well, let's say uh, richard branson <laughs> you know and people at elon musk and they're not going to follow you back they're not even going to know you followed them. So, yes, they, they say interesting things. You, you admire them and so on. But eventually you start saying, well, wait a minute. Who are the people that, that I can approach uh, who are doing interesting things or who are a little more approachable and who are doing interesting things? Things you just want to start in, incorporating into, into your life and particularly your – well, actually, I was going to say particularly your professional life, but really any part of your life, any part of – what you find fascinating and spend time on in your life. Who are doing? Who, who are the interesting thinkers um, around those subjects? And you, I think that's certainly that's how I've been doing it. But I've also noticed, you know, I mean, I'm trying to get a message out about my radio show or um, or about I, I, I want to get a I, want, I would really love to start 
a, a cartoon feature on LinkedIn. So I'm looking for people who know people at LinkedIn who can help me make that happen. So you start looking around at things like that and you, you notice that there are people who've got huge influence. I mean, you just look at this. I don't know how people get followings of hundreds of thousands or even a few million followers unless they're on television, you know. <laughs> Well, that's one they strategy do it. that, they do that do is it. definitely one strategy. Get famous first and then get Twitter famous. Yeah. As far as with you, I mean, if I heard you right for the, the first half of the interview here is it pick something that you're passionate about and yeah. then and related to business and also life, not just always trying to sell people and then follow people that are what you use the word approachable. So find, don't just follow a bunch of famous people. There, there's no engagement. There's no conversation. And you can yeah. look up their Twitter profile without following them. 